Hey YouTube! So today's video is going to be about what equipment I use to film my YouTube videos and what programs I use to edit them. I get this question asked all the time. People watch my videos and they wonder how I get my videos to be edited the way they do. So hopefully by the end of this video I would have answered all your questions about what I use and have given you guys some useful tips to film your own YouTube videos or, you know, family home videos or whatever you would like. So the first question is, what camera do I use for my videos? You guys can see next to me right here, there is a camera sitting next to me. Um, the camera is actually pointing at a mirror right now and you guys are seeing me through a mirror. And that is how I'm filming this video with the camera I use to film all my videos while showing you guys the camera at the same time, if that made any sense. But um, the camera is the Canon T3i, um, or the Rebel T3i, whatever you want to call it. And I used to film my videos using the 18-55mm lens. Um, I have since then moved on to using the 17-44mm to lens. Now, I didn't pick up this lens particularly for my videos, but when it comes to pictures, I like a more wide-angle look. You can capture more landscape and get a lot of just um, scenery with your outfit looks. If you're someone like me who does a lot of um, lookbook photos and lookbook videos. Depending on what your budget is, this is actually, this could be a fairly inexpensive camera for you to purchase or a, a very expensive camera for you to purchase. I believe I got it as a bundle for about $800. I used to have the T2i and the only difference is there is a flip screen which I'm using to see you guys right now. And actually I'll just leave like that so you guys can see me. Um, the T2i did not have a flip screen and it makes it very hard to film YouTube videos when you can't see where you are in the shot because you could really end up filming an entire video and then later finding out on the computer that you weren't even in the shot or you weren't in focus. So a flip out screen is very important. Um, since then, this is actually an older Rebel version that Canon carries. They now have a T4i as well as a T5i. So the only difference between the T3i and the T4 and 5i that I really care about is that the T4i and the T5i have um, autofocus, continuous autofocus in um, live recording mode. I don't think that's what's called. The, um, basically, it's autofocus while you're recording your video, which is very important if you're someone that records a lot of makeup videos, which I don't. Um, do you want to get that one instead? I'm personally waiting for Canon to improve their mechanics and their software in their camera. I am someone that really, once I find a company that I like, I really stick to it and I stand by it. And I do love Canon cameras. I understand there's a lot of other cameras out there that are better at autofocus. Obviously any camcorder would do, but I care more about my pictures and that's where Canon takes the cake for me. I just don't feel the need to upgrade to the T4 or T5i right now because they are um, a little bit slow still on the autofocus and it can be a little bit noisy. Personally for what I do, I'm perfectly fine with having to adjust it every time I move it or manual focus. Um, but that's just me and that's just what I use. Um, in terms of video recording, obviously I'm using video recording mode. Um, there's a lot of settings you can do with, if you know your aperture and your shutter speed knowledge, you can adjust the lighting in any room to be as bright as you want and reducing noise at the same time. If you don't know about um, ISO, for example, the higher the ISO, the number, the brighter your video will be. For example, a 200 ISO will give you a probably a darker video, but if it's a well-lit -li place or you're outside, it's going to do perfectly fine for you. A high ISO, like 3200, is going to get you really bright footage, but you're going to get more noise. And what noise is, is that that little grainy look in some videos that you see, and that's just something that is really hard to avoid. If you can, use lighting like like actual lighting to light up your videos instead of upping your ISO because it's going to give you a more grainy um, video quality. What I found has been really useful when it comes to recording videos. If you're like me, you like to record everything in one day and just edit and then disperse your videos. Um, I have, this is the charger for the battery in the camera and this is the battery. You're probably wondering how's the camera running if I have the battery in my hand. I actually have two batteries that I alternate. As soon as one runs out, I will stick the one that's dead into charge and I'll flip to the other one. 
Some people will go out and buy, um, there's an external battery that you can attach onto the bottom. It's a little bit too pricey for me. This battery was only an additional 60 bucks. Um, and I believe you can get them for even cheaper than that if you buy them off of Amazon. And then another thing that's really useful to have, if you're someone like me that has to take a lot of photos by myself, is to have a remote. My cousin actually got this for me and is seriously is life changing. It's just a simple Canon remote with one single button and adjustments on the back if you want it to wait two seconds before it takes a photo or take a photo right away. But this is how I take all my photos on my, um, my vlog. Well, 99.9% .9 of them. If they're in this room with this color background, I probably took it. That's also why you never see my right hand in the photos is because it's holding this remote. Okay, so the second to last thing I want to cover is my lighting. Um, at this part in the video, you're going to see the lighting in this video actually change quite a bit as I turn on and off these lights just to show you. Um, but for the majority of my videos, like 99.9% .9 of them, um, okay, let's just say all my videos, I use uh, the Diva ring light. And this is what it looks like. The back is black, the front, um, you can put this cover over to the diffuser light or you can have it off depending on how you want it. Some of the ones you buy are just an on and off switch depending on the version that you bought, but this one in particular has an adjustable screw and I'm going to show you how bright it is once I turn it on right here. So this is as little, this is the lowest setting you can set it at and it can get brighter and it might not look like a big difference here, but the wall behind me makes a big difference. You can see, I don't know, maybe... But yeah, so this is the light I use, and I like it a lot. Um, I, at first, I liked it because it gave you that halo effect in your eyes if you're really looking for something like that, like if you're doing makeup videos. Um, but now I just like it because it's easy to transport. There's a carrying case that comes with it, and um, it just gives me the, the nice natural lighting instead of something that's too yellow or too blue. It did come with two bulbs two circular bulbs. One of them is the more yellow light and this one is the more natural sunlight and I just stick to using this one. Now this one over here is a soft box light. Um, I've seen people on YouTube buy things like this and they just really don't like it. It just depends on what you use. I rarely use this light but this is something I use more for my lookbooks if I need just a little bit more lighting. Because my window is actually in front of me and I take my photos to the wall to the right of me, I'm generally pretty dark on my left side in my uh, photos, so that's where this one comes in. This one will light me from the front for my photos, and then this one will light me from the left, just add a little bit of extra lighting. So hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of what lightings I use and how I use them. Um, like I said, you can bounce either one of these off the wall to diffuse it or point it right at you. You just don't want it too close because then you could look washed out. Um, but it's nice to have your own lighting if you're recording videos for long periods of time because if you're like me, you live in Seattle, lighting can be a little bit inconsistent if you use natural lighting out your window because of the clouds. Okay, so to finish up my videos, I just wanted to add that all my pictures are edited through Aperture. It's basically an app you can buy off of um, the Apple Store and it's just the next step up from iPhoto. It's very similar in format, but you can do a lot more adjustments. There's presetted filters, and um, it's just something that you play around with. It can actually get fun. As for my videos, for the past year, I've been using Final Cut 10, and that's basically the one step down than Final Cut Pro. I believe the program was around $200, which is a little bit pricey, but because I like to edit videos, and a lot of the fun I have from doing videos is the editing part, I wanted something that could really fit what I wanted to do with my videos, and as an amateur video maker, I, it's definitely, it will cover all your needs. It will, it is a really great editing program and I highly recommend it. Um, I know everyone out there has a different program that they like to use, but Aperture is just the one for me because I used to edit on iMovie and again, it's a very similar iMovie, but it's a lot more advanced. So if you're used to using iMovie, it's the next step up and a step down from Final Cut Pro. Um, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. It's a little bit out of the norm of what I knew, normally do. Um, if you guys want more tip videos like this on like what I do and how, like the behind the scenes stuff, please let me know. I can get more specific in um, those stuff, but that's, I think it's a good summary of everything there is to know about my YouTube secrets. Um, yeah. 
<sighs> that was a lot of talking. I'm losing my voice now. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what you guys like to see next. Bye!